Call him. Stomalis. I was beginning to wonder if I was at the right place. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Uh, it's so hot. In the open, though. You mind us going somewhere else? Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Here is good? <laughs> yeah, this is nice. I would have never known that this place was here. Yeah, it's a hidden gem. Indeed it is. Alright, what do you want to eat? Because we can discuss business on empty stock. And I'm hungry. I don't know about you. Well... Uh, no, no, I don't no, know. No, no, no. How about uh, adding a salad? I know crackers. <laughs> if you're rebellious, if you love food, just relax. All the way you want. In that case, can I have a plate of steamed fish with some steamed bami and cranberry juice? Preferably white. Good. I was thinking I'm going to have the same thing because just like you, I love fish. Mr. Wallace, you do? Uh, look here. I'm talking about the sea creature. But them can swim around. <laughs> well, it's a meeting, so I'm breaking the ice. Hey, you have jokes. Anyway, I read your paper, and I must say I am very impressed. It's, it's, it was very insightful. However, it was more theory based. Still good, but there are some things that happen in the real world that I don't think you are privy to. Like a stretch of almost 800 acres of land on the way to Westmoreland that is underdeveloped and untamed. <laughs> uh, there you go with the theories again. That stretch of land you're talking about is actually owned by someone. I won't say who, but it's a prominent person in the public space. Yeah, but I've never seen any mark on the columns or even a tag. The next time you drive that way, you don't want to take note of the blue paint that's on the columns. What about suburban acres? I'm sure you're familiar with that. Yes, I am. That's why I can tell you that plot of land is on two tectonic plates. On what? Alright, so tectonic plates is when two pieces of land is on a plate, earthquake plate that is pushing against each other. When that stress build up, it snap, and that's what causes earthquakes. So it wouldn't be wise for anybody to build on that piece of land because if you put up a structure, it could snap in two. There is 40 acres of land in Geisel just before you get to Devil's Race Forest. Silt, which leads to landslide. Are you just making these things up because you want to deviate from the proposal? No, silly. Look, if you're really passionate about this, you might want to do some deep dive research into these different places. Anywhere that we're going to uh, build and construct, you have to know what's happening with the land itself, what's happening with the soil, how it's affected by rain, the drainage system, so there's a lot that goes into it apart from just looking at a piece of land and saying I'm going to build there. 